I've previously written an, art an article for the Animals blog explaining uh, why uh, a good note-taking workflow can be so useful um, for writers and content marketers. Um, and I want to give you one example of how this works in action if you have such a note-taking workflow. So uh, I use Rome Research, uh, but don't don't uh, stare too much or don't don't worry too much about the specific tool. But I'll show you how this works in Rome Research. So I was writing an article about. Um, customer onboarding in SaaS, software as a service uh, businesses. Um, and I was writing about um, how it's important to keep reviewing the onboarding process of your product because your product changes. And so if you never do your own onboarding, it might be outdated or have errors or whatever. And so as I was writing that, I recalled that um, in late 2020, I did a marketing course at Reforge. And there a lady uh, with a Russian sounding name, I mean, that's what I remember. So I'm, I'm trying to explain the thought process uh, said that she would uh, go through and she was the product manager she would go through their own onboarding every single day so I thought wow that's that's great to like quote her and put that in the article so but how am I going to check who she is and if she really said that and, and etc and which company she was at so I know it's the reforge course so that's where I start then so I say uh, okay reforge um, it's already there because I just searched for it. But so, yeah, I say, okay, Reforce, what I have on Reforce, these are all pages in my Rome uh, graph, in my Rome database. I say, okay, this is the one, this has all my notes from that program. So then I go here, um, then this is some stuff at the top, links, etc. cetera. Uh, but then here I have all the notes from the program. So I first look here, but then I'm like, this is so much because if I expand this, like this is kind of a summary that I made of everything. So there's no, I'm gonna find it in here. But then the other cool thing about Rome is that you'll see at the bottom of a page where this page has been mentioned. Um, and so every day, like the Reforge program had six meetings. So I made notes in all of those meetings. So on the dates that I made those notes, this should show up because I referenced this page. I mentioned the Reforge program. So here you start to see like, oh, November 2nd, I had this, but there's no other notes. Uh, and then on October 30th and October 16th, I have these notes from the meeting. So that was the Reforge program. So and I said, okay, well, then it must be in here in one of these two. I also remember that it was towards the end of the program. So then I say, okay, well, let's see what I have here. These are my written notes that I then import uh, into Rome at the time. Um, so here, this was Caitlin Watson. That was definitely not her. So it's not this one. Um, so she was the guest in this one. So then maybe it's this one. Elena, there we go. That was her name, Elena. So here you see my notes. And then let's see what she says. Uh, yeah, here, go through the onboarding every single day. So that's what she said. So this is the right note. So she indeed said that. And now I know her name. Her name is Elena. Um, and then I probably took some notes from my handwritten notes that I, that I found interesting. Um, and then here indeed you see ah Elena Verna, so that's her full name. And she indeed said, go through onboarding every single day at the start of your day. So now I know who she is, then I'm still like, oh, which, which company was she at? But now I know her name. So now of course I can go to LinkedIn. Um, then I can say, ah, uh, Elena Verna. Yeah, that's her. Uh, and then I have a look and then I say, okay, well, which companies was she at? And then as I'm looking, you know, now she's at Amplitude. Uh, she was at Reforge, of course. What else? Miro, was it Miro? I don't think so. Ah, SurveyMonkey. Yes, she was the, v the SVP of growth at SurveyMonkey. And that's where she went through the onboarding every single day. So within two minutes or three minutes, I have found uh, a quote that I kind of recall um, from from one and a half years ago and so this is how it always goes like also with things I read in books like I never really literally remember but I do have this kind of hook where I'm like oh I think I read something about this or somebody said something about this topic that would be really cool to include in an article or to mention somewhere and then by having these different gateways into your notes um, because you can see here like it's a combination of remembering reforce remembering the date um, having these written notes ha then having her name that's kind of how you piece it all together so that's how having a good note-taking system 
helps you um, to yeah make your content richer, to remember things, to yeah in whatever you're doing, uh, make it more interesting, make it more complete, and get more creative ideas and add more interesting uh, details. So I hope this was helpful and gives some inspiration of why it's worthwhile investing in a in a note taking system. And uh, if you're interested in it, I would recommend reading the full article. Thanks.